Hi everyone. In this short demonstration video, we're going to look at our GTO solver GTO Plus and our range analysis software Flopzilla Pro. Also, we'll show how to let GTO Plus and Flopzilla Pro connect to one another. Here on the screen, we currently have a copy of GTO Plus in autoplay mode. And here we have a shrunk down version of Flopzilla Pro. And Flopzilla Pro is connected to GTO Plus. Whenever new ranges are reached in GTO Plus, Flopzilla Pro is automatically updated. In the first part of this video, I will briefly go over what GTO Plus is and how to set up a tree. Now GTO Plus is what is referred to as a GTO solver. If you give it ranges, a flop and a decision tree, then it will figure out the absolute optimal way to play versus an opponent who also plays perfectly himself. So it will basically figure out the absolute best way to play versus your opponent while also preventing any leaks in your game. I will just stop the autoplay feature now and start a new file. To set up your tree in GTO Plus, simply enter the range for player 1 by clicking on the field here. I will just enter some random range and enter a range for player 2 by clicking on the field here. In GTO Plus, player 1 is always out of position and player 2 is in position. Now let's enter the board and go to Build Tree to build our tree. Here, enter the starting pot and effective stacks. And that information alone is already enough to build your first decision tree. For this demonstration, we'll use the basic tab, and this will get the money in in four bets, with the bet and the race sizes here. More advanced tree building options are also available under the tab Advanced. And if you want to use a sit and go or an MTT, then this can be set with the tabs here. Now, I won't go over all these tabs, however, they are explained in more detail in the instructional videos on the website for GTO Plus. For the purposes of this demonstration, we will just work with the most straightforward approach and build a basic tree. And that's it, our tree has now been built. And to get a quick overview of our new tree, just click here. Now the next step would be to run the GTO solver, so that GTO Plus can figure out the optimal play. For this, go to Run Solver. Here you can select a value DEV, and here you can select the storage type. Now I won't go over these options in detail, because this is just a short demonstration. However, for DEV, a value of 0.5% should always be sufficient. And for storage type, you will probably want to use extensive storage. Now run the solver, and this should typically take a few minutes. I will just skip ahead in the video. And we can now use the tree navigator on top to navigate through the tree and to look at the solution. And if you want to export any spot to Flopzilla Pro, then just open Flopzilla Pro on your computer and go to Flopzilla Pro, Export to Flopzilla Pro, or press Ctrl plus F. And the ranges in this spot in the tree have now been exported to Flopzilla Pro. So, let's now take a look at Flopzilla Pro. I will just enlarge its size with Shift plus mouse wheel. Here we have the range for player 2. And here we have the range for player 1. And here's the statistics for player 1. Press Tab to see the statistics for player 1 expressed in combos. And here we see the equity graph for both players. You can use the output fields to switch to a different type of output. For example, here's the equity matrix for player 1. And here's the hotness for all possible turn cards that can come off. Finally, here's a pie chart that shows the distribution into combos. So apparently there's 84 combos for top pair or better. To switch to multiple colors of filters, click the button here. And filters of multiple colors are now available. 
I will just assign a green filter to all statistics that are a flush or straight draw, and purple to all combo draws. And we see in the pie chart that there's 48 combos that are draws, and 19 combos that are combo draws. Now, as for the equity calculations in Flopzilla Pro, we have taken great care to make the calcs as fast as possible. Whenever any change is made to a range, the equities will almost instantly update. We have even succeeded in setting up very fast three-way calcs for when a flop is entered. So if I enter the third range by clicking on the plus symbol, whenever I make any change to the range, then it will only take a fraction of a second for the data to update. Now these are the exact equities for all of the hands in this three-way spot. No approximations were used. And to the best of my knowledge, Flopzilla is the only software in existence that can do this. Other than that, Flopzilla Pro offers a lot more additional features. For example, if we go to preflop, I will just clear the board. When you mouse over a stat, such as flush, there's a very detailed breakdown into nut flush, second nut flush, etc. And different breakdowns are available depending on which stat you mouse over. Also, if you click on the icon here in preflop mode, a flop breakdown tool is offered. This tool shows how many flops of each type exist. Here you can see for example that there's 18,304 unpaired flops. And 6,864 flops of these are rainbow. And there's 1144 monotone flops. Now this video just provides a general overview of Flopzilla Pro. For more details on each feature, please visit the website for flopzilla.com. For the final part of this video, let's now take a look at the Play Against the Solution feature in GGO Plus and how to link it to Flopzilla Pro. For that, in GTO Plus, click the icon here. To play versus the solution, select whether you want to be in position or out of position. And you can now sit down. If at any time you don't know how to play, then press Ctrl for a quick view of the recommended strategy. And the available actions at the bottom will now change. The green actions are the recommended ones. The red ones shouldn't be taken. It's possible for multiple actions to be green. In this case, a weighted strategy is recommended. The weights are shown in the lower right of each action. And that is the mix that should be used. So here we see that we should call 66% of the time. And we should raise 33% of the time. It's also possible to always display the solution with the toggle here. And now the solution is always visible. Or this button can be set in the middle for training mode. Now, whenever you make a mistake, the program will pause, show the solution, and allow you to choose again. For example, if I select Fold here, then the program will let us know that this is not the best choice and will allow us to choose again. To export to Flopzilla Pro while playing, simply open Flopzilla Pro and click on Export to Flopzilla Pro, or press Ctrl plus F. And the current decision has now been exported to Flopzilla Pro. I'll just scale it down a bit with Shift plus mouse wheel so that we can see both programs at the same time. You can also do a live export to Flopzilla Pro. In this case, any situation while playing will immediately be sent to Flopzilla Pro. I will just let GTO Plus autoplay itself by pressing Ctrl and right-clicking the player field. And you'll see that Flopzilla Pro updates instantly whenever a change is made. So if you want to see the equity graphs of the ranges while playing, then just click on the option here. So, that's it for this short introduction of GTO Plus and Flopzilla Pro. I hope that you enjoyed this video.